Hi guys, I'm Nagata Chan and welcome to my reaction for the Classroom of the Elite Season 2 Episode 8. So there seems to be some interesting ways this might be going because R Ruyan? 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 Or what is his name from Class C? Uh, now kind of find out that there are probably people which are messing up with him but because Anakaji is so good at kind of being at the background right unnoticeable and these kind of things so he's kind of not like setting his sight on him but I think that is a big mistake right and I think he's focusing on K right now which also probably would be not good. Yeah, I think he's focusing on Kay because she was like they were bullying her, right? So it would make sense that she would probably be blackmailing them or something like that and she would be able to kinda do that. Yeah, and he was like really really mad. So I wonder how this will kinda spin. I guess I'm just going to watch this episode, so starting it right now. Okay. The wound is at her heart. Tacitum vivit sub pectora vulnus. Oh, from Virgil. Enaid. Enas, I think. Never read that, need to. I only read something from Albert and Homer. Okay, murmuring. Okay, creepy. Okay. Hmm. They're very serious about it. Of course. So what was your problem? Is this what are we going to be dealing with? Because like something which happened at her class and like disruption and shite, right? What uh, Susanna was talking about. <laughs> okay, I wonder what is her deal, y'all. Seriously. Skipping the opening. Oh, that was too much. Okay. Ah, oh, this girl too. Oh my god. Oh, really? Well, so you should probably focus on one thing each. <laughs> now don't look at me. Okay. Makes sense. Hmm. You never know what is important. It's good that like these people are just deciding for themselves what they want. I sucked at sports so I just want to make this better. Okay? Because I'm kinda smart so I'm gonna help. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Because you're smart.
Well, there's a lot of things. But he probably doesn't want much. Wow, shocker. Yeah. Well, that's not his problem, but yours. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Just that. Okay. What is happening here? What do you mean? Oh. Okay. What? How could they make the same mistakes? What? Are you twins? I mean, it could prepare you. True, they cannot be anything too crazy. Yeah. Definitely. Probably, yeah. They wouldn't, like, do anything too crazy. Yeah, that's a good thing. Try it for yourself and see which they will accept. Hell, in many senses. Yeah, who knows? But like, you cannot watch her uh, all the time. Oh, really? Do you? What? What? One more. How many of them will there be? I mean, that would make sense. She cannot watch over everyone. Hmm. So, he's sending a message to him. Intriguing. Have nothing to do. A library is good place to kill the time. Not gonna lie. So what do you mean? Yeah. Focus. Don't talk. I don't know. What is your preferable style? You should know it already, shouldn't you? Probably the same.
does it look like? I don't see anything like that. Yeah, wh why are you? What are you talking about? These we came here to study, guys. <laughs> Focus. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be very hard with him, girl. Very hard, trust me. <laughs> this is a very nice library, I like it. That's true. Probably, yeah. So I, I I mean it's also her problem. You you know if she feels this kind of way and that she really cares so much about it. But yeah, look at Susanna like trying to deal with stuff on her own. Like, seriously trying to deal with stuff. Okay. At least she is honest with that. But why should we care about that? such a deal uh, I mean okay this is quite a high bad girl But now you have a chance to try it. Oh. That's quite a risky bat. But seems like Susanna means it seriously. Oh. Okay, interesting. Okay. I mean, yeah, true. I don't give a crap. I mean, that's her deal. If she is not as smart as she deems to, that's on her. That's on her. Yeah, it seemed from the get-go, girl, that she's super serious about us. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, she's not that stupid. Just like I wants to know about these kind of things.
I don't really know about it. Yeah, it's kind of like... I mean, Susan, you're pretty smart, so you need to try really hard. I guess intriguing and that too like I have a right to do that oh hmm he wants to know the truth yeah that's true like you involve us in your own problems so like can you at least tell us what the hell is happening yeah Yeah, like, we would get expelled, or you want us to get expelled, so at least if we can learn what the hell was happening, tell us. It doesn't change the expelling part, right? Why not? They should know why are you like trying to expel them. Well, the bendable, I guess, kind of, yes. Okay. 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 That's kind of sad. That you can only feel happy when others praise you. There is always one. Yeah, there usually would be someone better than you, sadly. If you are not the best of the best. And even if you are best of the best, like, doesn't mean you would, would be best all the time. Hmm, so just people would like her. Okay, so you just want praise of people. Yeah, she did all these things because she just wanted attention and praise. Not because she likes like to do that. That's the problem. Okay, because you're putting kind of stuff in the wrong direction, that's why. That's why. Mm. Yeah, because everything was kind of piling up in her. She couldn't say it out loud because she was faking everything. Oh, really? Yeah, that probably would not make them happy. It was just a pretension, a fake. Hmm. 
because you were fake, that's why. Okay. Everything what? Oh, all the secrets, I guess. Hmm. Because she's been, like, around so much and they've been, like, telling these secrets to her because they trusted her. Really? That really? Would they? Would they people? Would they be so bad? Stupid? I mean, she's been pretending before and lying. Would they trust her so easily? Seriously? True. So just because she's been faking everything, and basically being nice because she wanted praise even though she did not like these people and someone found out what she actually thought and were mad at her she's like oh no this is horrible like, okay girl <laughs> someone smells like narcissist a little a little bit egotistical Yeah, girl, you need some mental health. Help. Yeah, she's not mentally okay. There would be people like this. And it's said that she doesn't see a problem within herself. But, like, there are people like this in real life, 100 personally. Yeah, like, if she would be doing these things, like, honestly, right? And, like, wouldn't be thinking of these people as badly. Like, she was doing these things just for recognition and praise. Not because she liked doing these things. Like, right? Like, being with these people, helping these people, and whatever. And, of course, over time, people started probably taking advantage of her because she was so willing to do these things. So the relationship between her and the people in the class probably worsened over time, right? Because, like, she was so ready to do everything for them. So they were like, well, if, if she wants to do these things, why why not? Why won't we let her do it, right? Why she w shouldn't do these kind of things? I mean, they are kids, so... Of course, they would not be thinking about it so, like, deeply. They would just be using her. And they were telling her, like, all the secrets because they kind of trusted her because she seemed, like, so nice and so innocent and, like, maybe a little bit stupid. But then I found out how actually she is, so they were mad at her. And I would say rightfully so, right? Like... They trusted her that she is this kind of person, but it's all been fake, right? Imagine, like, she betrayed our trust. Imagine you're, like, trusting someone, right? Like, you think he is this kind of person, right? And these things happen. And then you learn this person is someone completely different. Like, they are not as nice, not as friendly, and not as I don't know what, as they pretend to be. Sometimes it goes to the extremes, like, this person you thought is normal, cool, person, guy, woman, whatever, are doing horrible things in secret. So, of course, you would feel betrayed. And, yeah, this is, like, a smaller kind of scale she wasn't doing like some 
outrageously horrible thing. She's just been lying to them and she just doesn't care about them at all. She did not murder anyone or do some even more horrible things. But like, yeah, she earned our trust and then she betrayed that trust. So of course people would be angry. Especially if she was like secretly shitting on them. Nobody would like it. Like, there is a fault on her. She just doesn't see it. She's just like, oh no, they have no right to not like me because I've been doing all these things for them. But like, yeah, but again, you did not care about them at all. And they saw that you did not care about them at all. So of course they are going to be angry. And would probably de like want some answers. And yeah, these are teenagers, so it might get into like some little bit of extremes. But she's like, how dare these people be angry at me? Because I've been doing all these things for them. But like, it has nothing to do with it. You've been lying to them, even though they trusted you. And you just... You don't care about them at all. That's why they are mad. That's why I probably started hating her. Because, like, imagine you have a friend, right? Cool friend. And then you learn they've been shit-talking about you behind your back. And it would hurt. It would hurt a lot. And you probably would get mad. Right? That's not a friend. That's not a someone you can depend on. So these people probably felt like that. And they were right to be mad. They should probably not be bullying her. I don't know exactly what happened, but like, given her personality, I don't really trust her much about what she is saying. Like, she said, oh no, they turned against me, but like, from her point of view, right? Like, it could have been kind of insignificant. They just, they just could have been angry at her, like I said, rightfully so, and probably deemed some answers and probably did not want to like be there her friends anymore because they learn what kind of person she is, right? But she like turned it around, made like some horrible thing out of it. Like, oh my god. Like she just she's not seeing a fault in her. And why these people are right to be angry at her. Instead of like probably saying sorry or something like that. Or trying to repair the damage. But like again she really did not care about him. <laughs> she just did something like horrible right and like get these people against each other yeah i mean was i supposed was i supposed to feel sorry for you i guess in her head she thinks people are supposed to feel sorry for her or something like that in her head she thinks like she had a right to do it but again she doesn't seem to be mentally okay yeah, I don't think this is how a person which is mentally okay acts and behaves. <laughs> right? So... That's... That's what kind of she is and how she is. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I knew she could be dangerous <laughs> from the scene we saw. She was just like so suspiciously friendly i was like i don't trust this girl no 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 she was trying so hard to be friendly because that's not her true self she's not doing that because she like wants to care with, about these people or because she likes these people she's just doing it because she wants these people to like her and be praised by them that's all. She doesn't care. She doesn't give a shit about these people. She's not our friend. At all. Well. She definitely needs some mental health help. <laughs> Absolutely. Because I don't think this is a good. At all. So I wonder how they will be dealing with that. <laughs> because... Um, if it goes in really bad way, she could be extreme problem, right? Goddamn. 
Yeah, like, how they are going to deal with her? I mean, now Susanna needs to, like, be really good at that subject, which is possible, right? She is smart, so she might be able to, like, do it. But again, if they would tie, it would be kind of stalemate. I don't think Susanna is going to get expelled or Kyotaka. But, like, if she would lose, I mean, the friendly girl, Kushida, right? Uh, what is she going to do? Would they be like able to kind of turn her on their side? Change her? I don't think this is a thing you can change easily. That seems like pretty big problem. Right? Well, yeah, it's kind of hard to know what will be happening with this. But like, that's so horrible. So horrible to just like make this your life like being praised is cool and it, it feels good but like making your whole life about that just about it that's really sad actually and there are like people in real life which are doing a lot of things just to like be praised by people right to like uh, get those likes and get those I don't know, whatever, social points or whatever. And let's, that's like their life. That's what they're doing, even though like, whatever they're doing or saying, they don't mean it for real. They're just doing it so people would like them. That's all. That's just so fake and pretentious and sad. Because they are not themselves. Right? They're just doing what they think people would like them doing. That is exactly what Friendly Girl is doing. She's friendly to the people. She's acting this way so people would like her. Because if she would be acting other way, being herself, and we don't know what herself is, right? Like her true self. Because she's faking this personality since like pretty young age so like who she even is right and like when you think about it that are people in real life being like this that's like so horribly sad like why do you really give a shit about people's opinions so much like yeah sometimes people are trying to help you so trying to understand why they like why do they have this opinion but like i don't know why do you care so much why do you care so much about other people i don't know why i'm i'm introvert <laughs> so i'm not a very social person so i guess i don't understand that <laughs> like leave me alone and i will be happy I'm complete opposite of the friendly girl. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, kind of hard for me to understand. Like, why would someone go so far? Because there are definitely, like, more things you can dedicate your life for. Right? Than just faking everything about you and yourself. Not being true to yourself. That's sad. Really. I mean, there are expectations. Right? In society. So, many people cannot confirm to the things. So, they would not be sticking out. But, still. There need to be some kind of balance. Right? You can just, like, be complete, like, outsider, but, like, also completely comforting to whatever. Be yourself, but also be considerate to other people around you. I think is the best way how to do it, right? But again, some people just put too much importance in things which are really not that important.
sad, very sad. Well, I'm going to give this episode seven and a half out of a ten. It was interesting look at her as a character, at her personality, and why she is the way she is. Actually, intriguing. I'm gonna lie, and I'm, I'm really intrigued how they will be dealing with this, and like, if she would lose, what she will be doing. Will she like still be trying to? antagonize them right even though she was like um making this deal with Suzune like she wouldn't try to expel them but still like she doesn't need to uphold that she can say yes but still lie it's dependable on the person right and some people would be like oh yeah deal and they, they would just break it because they don't really give a shit about that so I don't know how Kushida will deal with this. She could be like, okay. And she would still be doing shit behind her back. <laughs> right? Or maybe something would change with her. I don't really know. But I'm intrigued about this problematic and her character. Very interesting. Very interesting. So I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.